Hello, and a very warm welcome to LMT Royal YouTube channel. The Duchess of Sussex said it was very nice to be back, as she made her first public appearance in the UK tonight, since she and her husband, Prince Harry announced, they were stepping down as senior working royals. The couple put on a confident display, as they arrived in pouring rain at the annual Endeavour Fund Awards at London's Mansion House on Thursday, smiling broadly as they stepped out of their official car. Sheltering under an umbrella as they arrived, the Duke wore a dark blue suit, white shirt and blue tie, while American former actress Meghan was dressed in a turquoise Victoria Beckham pencil meaty dress. A crowd of about 50 people, standing behind barriers, braved the rain under umbrellas to catch a glimpse of the, the Duke and Duchess. There were cheers and applause as they walked by. The couple were there to honor the achievements of wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women who have taken part in remarkable sporting and adventure challenges over the last year. All eyes were on Meghan, who has not been seen in this country since she and Harry made the dramatic announcement that they were quitting public life in early January. She presented the Celebrating Excellence Award during the event and said, It's very nice to be back. It's the third year I've had the incredible fortune of joining my husband here. It's just the most inspiring space. When we were watching the nomination videos all the way in Canada, we had the same moment of how are you going to choose? Well, we've done our best. The evening event was the couple's first joint official appearance since announcing their decision to step down as senior royals, which takes effect on March 31st. Harry, who has been made to give up his official patronages after deciding to move to Canada, is being allowed to retain his private links with organizations such as the Endeavour Fund, of which he is patron. The Duke presented Army veteran Tom Oates with the final prize of the night, the Henry Worsley Award, which is given to an individual who has best inspired others through adversity. Mr. Oates lost his fiancé weeks after returning back from Afghanistan. He now supports others with mental health difficulties and regularly speaks about his own experiences at events. In his speech, the Duke spoke emotionally about time in the military, saying, Meghan and I are so happy to be back here with you to celebrate each and every one of you for your achievements, your service and your resilience. For some, the military community represents a brotherhood or sisterhood that no other organization can provide, and for others it's a way of life which you never want to leave. For a lot of us, it's both. Being able to serve queen and country is something we all are rightly proud of, and it never leaves us. Once served, always serving. He added, a lot of you tonight have told me you have my back, well I'm also here to tell you, I've always got yours. Prior to the ceremony, the Harry and Meghan mingled with guests, which included television star Ross Kemp, during a reception event. At times, the Duke was very animated as he joked with award nominees, while Meghan asked questions and listened intently, clutching her purse by her side. Ex-Royal Marine Lee Spencer, who holds the world record for the fastest unsupported row across the Atlantic Ocean, despite losing his right leg in an accident, won the award, which was collected by his wife. Later, a military veteran has proposed to his partner on stage in front of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Danny Holland, who won the Recognizing Achievement Award, got down on one knee and produced a ring to his girlfriend during the Endeavour Fund Awards at Mansion House in London on Thursday. There was an audible gasp from the audience, while Meghan smiled and placed her hands in the centre of her chest as Harry applauded the couple. Harry and Meghan's departure was slightly warmer than their arrival, with onlookers raucously singing Come on Harry! over and over again. The Endeavour Fund supports service personnel keen to use challenges to help with their physical, psychological and social recovery and rehabilitation. At a reception with supporters, nominees and their families, Harry and Meghan chatted to Claire Spencer, whose husband, 
Lee Frank Spencer was nominated for an award. She complimented Meghan on his amazing she looked given that she had just had a baby. She said afterward, Oh yes, well he is 10 months now and is into everything. Asked what she thought of Harry's decision to step back as a working royal, she said, I think he does an amazing job, as does she, and we should just let them live the life they want to live. I know what a difference Endeavor has made to my husband's life since he lost a leg, and I hold Harry personally responsible for that. Life is too short. Harry was heard to tell the nominee before posing for a picture with them, alongside Meghan. We create this opportunity for you guys. You are the ones that pick it up. Respect. The annual awards, now in their fourth year, brings together hundreds of wounded, injured and sick serving personnel and veterans, as well as their families, friends and supporters of the military community. The awards ceremony host, a former soldier and friend of Harry's, J.J. Chalmers, also said he supported his decision to step back from public life. He said, it's fantastic to have them here. Obviously their support for the Endeavor Fund, the Invictus Games has never gone away because it is so personally important to them. You look at Harry's service and that is what created this fund. What they share is a partnership and their commitment to helping others which the Endeavor Fund is all about. There's a lot of noise out there on social media and the like. But ultimately you have got to look at the last couple of years of their life together. The biggest change in their life is becoming parents, and that changes your priorities. He said that Harry has created two organizations in the Endeavor Awards and the Invictus Games that could survive on their own without him, if need be, saying, what he has created, he has created with sustainability. They aren't Prince Harry's, he has created something that can hopefully stand on their own two feet. But they are causes so close to his heart, so we hope he will stay involved. He added, tonight is about celebrating the amazing achievements of some amazing men and women, but it's also something of a family reunion. The wonderful thing is that we have all succeeded and are now off doing our own thing. The little birds have flown. We have Paralympian, world champions, television presenters. But we were all just lost souls at one time. And they put us back on the straight and narrow. There will be four prizes awarded. Recognizing Achievement Award, Celebrating Excellence Award, Henry Worsley Award, and the Community Impact Award, a new award for this year. Megan will present the Celebrating Excellence Award and Harry the Henry Worsley Award to the individual who has best inspired others through the demonstration of determination in the face of adversity. It is named in honor of career soldier and adventurer Henry Worsley, who tragically lost his life in January 2016 whilst attempting to cross the Antarctic landmass, solo and unsupported, in order to raise money for the Endeavor Fund. Before the ceremony, the couple will attend a reception where they will meet the inspiring nominees, as well as Endeavor participants and key supporters of the Endeavor Fund. Tonight's event is one of just a handful of engagements the couple are undertaking this weekend in the UK before returning to Canada to embark on their new life ahead of their official departure on March 31st. Harry is joining Formula One world champion Lewis Hamilton at the official opening of the Silverstone Experience, a museum about British motor racing, on Friday. The Duke and Duchess will then attend the Mountbatten Festival of Music at the Royal Albert Hall on March 7, and Meghan will mark International Women's Day. The Duke and Duchess will join the Queen and other royals at the Commonwealth Day service in Westminster Abbey on March 9, their last official appearance as HRHs. Please support Growing LNT World Channel by subscribe channel, like and share videos hour. Your support is the motivation for us to produce better videos. Stop.